welcome to my channel where we're all about filmmaking, drones, and more recently, one wheel. Oh man, look at that sunrise. You know, one thing uh, you learn really quick as uh, when you start making films and the cinematography involved with that is getting up early is half the battle. If you get up early, then those shots that you're gonna get are just automatically gonna be better. So I'm heading out right now uh, to do a little drone shot of the bay. I'm staying in a beautiful Herald Provincial Campsite in BC, Canada, near Salmon Arm. And uh, you know, you just gotta, I'm just up, it's about 5.30 in the morning. And I am just heading out of the campsite because uh, provincial campsites in Canada, you can't uh, fly a drone with. So I'm heading out of the park and then I'll just fly my drone along the water and uh, give you a visual of the campsite that I'm in. But today I kind of thought I'd talk about the gear that I use to make my videos in the more recent videos that I've been making. So here's my top three things that I have to make these videos that I do. Um, so number one, the G Panasonic GH5 camera. This is my baby. The image stabilization on this thing is so good. Like I don't, I'm not on a gimbal right now. I'm camping, so I didn't bring all of the stuff. I'm gonna just clock it down here a little bit. Um, and like, I don't need a gimbal. Like, look at how smooth it is. Granted, I'm on a one wheel, and that's one of the sick things about one wheels is they just stabilize the footage anyways, but GH5, ooh, that was close. Just the GH5 with the image stabilization um, is kind of all you need for most scenarios, especially for like vlogging thing, vlogging scenarios like I'm doing here. Oh, this looks perfect. Hells yeah. I think I'm gonna launch my drone from right here. So that brings me to the second part of my toolkit, which is uh, DJI Mavic Air. Now, starting to get a little long in the tooth now, this little drone, but it still served me so well, and I don't like to get rid of things when they still work. I just got my advanced drone license, so I'm a drone pilot now, certified, so it kind of makes sense for me to get a bigger bird because I don't have a restriction on that, but also, it's so nice to just be able to pull out this little drone and fly it. Recording, let's do this. So I've been using this for a bit over a year and you know, I love it. Uh, it got me into drones, uh, just getting, it's like you're flying, right? That's why I got into drones. Um, but the two downsides of this, uh, I would say is, uh, the record bit rate. So it's only eight bits. So you can't really pull too many colors out. You can't record in a solid log profile. It, uh, it just doesn't work very well. Uh, you can't really push the, like I say, you can't really push the grades around too much. It just falls apart. Um, so you have to just make sure everything's set perfectly, which is fine. I mean, you should have to do that anyways. Um, and then the second thing is the range really isn't great. It's all Wi-Fi range. Um, so that OcuSync of the new DJI products really kind of has me thinking about it. 
um, either leaning towards uh, something with OcuSync, so either the Mavic Air 2 or the Mavic Pro 2, um, or the Skydio 2, man. I don't know if you guys know much about that Skydio, but now that I'm doing some one-wheel content, having a drone that'll just sit there and follow you and go through the trees, and I've seen some comp videos where it goes through some crazy patches of trees and does it no problem. So that's, uh, it's really exciting. So, I mean, between those two, in the future, uh, they'll be one of my drones to get. If you have a preference uh, or a suggestion, um, all ears, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> I don't know what I need to say about the one wheel, but it is incredible. I'm going uphill right now, pretty good grade. I mean, it's kind of feeding back and letting me know where the motor's at and whatnot, so I kind of know what's going on there, but man. And then, okay, let's talk about XR versus Pint for a moment. At the campground, I pick Pint every time. Every time. Just. Well, let's, let's, let's qualify that. I'll pick Pint with the fast charger every time because I'm always just doing these little trips on the trails and whatnot uh, and just come back to the trailer and charge that up and it's like we're good to go like before I am. So um, range is not really as big an issue when you're out camping, kind of. I got a family, I can't just be one wheeling all day. Um, but yeah, like the Pint, is I would say the perfect size for a mo mobile transport when you're uh, around the campsite. And it's smaller than a bike. Like I always bring my bike and I don't even ride it anymore. I just have it. I mean, I guess there's like the whole exercise thing. And maybe I'm not getting any uh, as much exercise, but like I am having a blast, and there's got to be some component of exercise that's happening here. Um, look at this. Anyways, that's me today, guys. Uh, now you know a little bit more about me. Add your voice to the comments below so I can get to know you a little bit. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, see ya.